When 3D printing technology was first developed, and when it became commercially viable for individuals to buy and use, there was a lot of excitement. And rightfully so, as the technology is pretty incredible, and it can do a lot of stuff. The most obvious applications that everyone immediately thought of were things like printing replacement parts for broken tools or home appliances, or for creating toys, or models designed with some kind of 3D modeling software. But as the technology has come into its own, it's found countless uses far beyond anyone's initial expectations. And apparently, one such novel use is curing deafness. A team of doctors at the University of Pretoria's Steve Biko Academic Hospital in South Africa have used 3D printers to create the middle ear bones that we use for hearing. These middle ear bones vibrate against one another, and this acoustic information is translated by stereo cilia cells into nerve signals that get sent to the brain, and the brain decodes the signals back into the sounds that we consciously perceive. The artificial middle ear bones that the team 3D printed were created because, recently, the doctors had begun seeing a patient who damaged their middle ear in a car accident and had subsequently lost their hearing. Professor Mashudu Toshifularo was the lead researcher on the project, and in a press release, he said, quote, By replacing only the ossicles that aren't functioning properly, the procedure carries significantly less risk than known prostheses and their associated surgical procedures. We will use titanium for this procedure, which is biocompatible. We use an endoscope to do the replacement so the transplant is expected to be quick, with minimal scarring. 3D technology is allowing us to do things that we never thought we could." Unquote. So this is all really cool. By using 3D titanium printing, they could create a small, custom-fit transplant which could be inserted with minimally invasive surgery. Every part of this process, from the titanium, to the size of the implant, to the surgical process, to the recovery, is superior to traditional procedures, as Professor Chifularo said. Additionally, he also said that the surgery could be performed on patients of any age, from the elderly to newborns. Now, if a person is deaf because of damage to the inner ear, or to the stereocilia cells themselves, or if they're deaf because of a neurological issue, either in the brain or in the nerves connecting to the ear, then this procedure won't be of much help. This achievement was only done on the middle ear bones, which means that deafness can only be cured if the deafness was caused by some kind of damage to the middle ear, be it from mechanical trauma, infection, or deformities. So if this is the kind of deafness that you or someone that you know has, then this procedure may be able to change their life. That is the immeasurable value that we can create when we combine modern medicine with modern technology.